Hello, everyone. I'm Leonard Gu, comes from International Center for Quantum Material, Peking University. Today, I will introduce you our recent work, half integer sharpshot steps in strong ferromagnetic Josephson junctions. Okay, let's start. First, I will give a background introduction of sharpshot steps in Josephson junction. And then I will talk about the motivation that why we do the strong fan at the net because of the junction. And uh, then it's our results. And I will discuss about the physical origin of the half integer chapter steps in strong ferromagnetic because of the junction. And finally, it's my summary. Okay, let's start. Uh, this figure is a typical uh, ferromagnetic Josephson junction. And in AC Josephson effect, the current phase relation is defined in this formula, where theta L and theta R are the superconducting phase of this S1 as the S1 and S and S1 and S2 superconducting layers. And the structural steps in Josephson junction is proportionally related to the microwave frequency. You can see from, uh, from these small figures. Before we add in the microwave, the voltage current relation is, is, is a normal uh, superconducting relation. And after we add in the microwave, the voltage will show some steps. And these steps are called Shapiro steps. Uh, you can see from these figures, th these steps are integers. But in Sirius' 2004 work, they found that in a weak fragment, in a weak ferromagnetic Josephson junction, there will be half integer Shapiro steps. Uh, in this paper, they, they explain that the exchange energy can split the bound state from two pi theory into two pipe theories, and this is called zero to pi transition. You can see from these two figures, these two, these two small figures, the thick black line uh, will be split into two lines, and the period will change from two pi uh, into pi. And this will generate the so, and this will generate the so-called uh, intrinsic second harmonic term of current phase relation. Uh, you can see the formula. And uh, this uh, 2 phi, uh, which is called second harmonic term, will generate the, so, uh, will generate the half integer sharp, uh, sharp sure steps. In this paper, they observe half and uh, three half, uh, half integer sharp sure steps and some integer steps. Yes. Um, but uh, they found the half integer separate was steps and um, can only exist in a small temperature range, which is uh, 100 millikelvin, which is very small. Um, but different from weak ferromagnets, the strong uh, the exchange energy of strong ferromagnets is much larger than the superconducting gap. So the zero to pi state transition cannot be uh, realized by only changing the temperature. So we want to know, is there still such a step in strong ferromagnetic Josephson junction? And uh, if the steps are still exist, what are the properties and the origin of that such a step? So that is why we do the strong fragment, strong ferromagnetic of the junction. Okay, let me introduce our uh, results. First is the device fabrication. We use the shadow mask to grow the now beam polymer and the now beam uh, Josephson junction. And the thickness of our now beam and of, of our polymer layer is about 5.5 nanometer. And the final Josephson junction size is about uh, 80 times 80 micrometers. Well, this is our symbol. 
about the measurement. First, we do the current, we do the voltage and current relation measurements without a ma without a microwave. You can see the black line. There is no uh voltage steps, but after we adding the microwave, we surprisingly found the integer have uh, we we surprisingly found the sharper steps, and this is a integer step. Like the you can see from the red line, yeah. Um, but after we changing the temperature and the frequency, the half integer sharper steps uh, appear. Uh, you can see from these two phase diagrams, uh, the dark blue region means the superconducting state, and. Uh, when the current increase, the superconducting state will be broken, and some straps will appear. Uh, we label them with some numbers, and this number means the Shapiro steps. Also, you can see from the differential resistance figure, the valley means the uh, voltage steps, and the relation between voltage and frequency shows the integer and half integer chapter steps. Well, after increasing the temperature up to 7 Kelvin, um, we found that when temperature is larger, the uh, chapter steps, the chapter of steps will disappear. That is because uh, when temperature is large, the Joseph coupling will vanish. Uh, and this will lead to the dis disappearance of Shapiro stacks. Yes. Well, surprisingly, we found that our data, our half integer Shapiro stacks, is very robust in you know, a wide temperature uh, range, uh, which from 4 Kelvin to 7 Kelvin. You can see from this group, these four figures, um, the Shapiro stacks. Can be clearly seen from four Kelvin to zero to seven Kelvin. Well, this is a wide temperature range and not been reported and uh, observed before. So, in our mind, we think the half integer Shapiro steps in our strong ferromagnetic Joseph junction is robust. Well, next, I want to discuss about the physical origin of the half integer Shapiro steps. In strong fire magnetic Joseph conjunction. Yes. From our best understanding, the coexistence of zero and the pi space is the most possible mechanism. You can see from this figure, when the thickness uh, varying in the whole simple, there could be zero, uh, zero state and the pi state. And when zero and the pi states are coexistent, the junction can be seen as pi state. Where pi, where zero and the pi junctions can interfere. After the calculation, the so interference currents like this form. And the phi is the average phase difference of zero and the pi, uh, junctions. And the psi will equal to half pi for pi squared, which means only the second term, which including, um, or second harmonic term will remain. And this will lead to the half integer chapter of steps. Well, to verify our assumption, we do the high resolution TM experiment. You can see we choose two different area, area A and area B. And from this two data figure, we can know the thickness difference is about two nanometer. And this is very close to the half period lines for the zero to pi transition in now being polymer, now being uh, Joseph's injunction. And this indicates the coexistence of zero and pi states, which can verify our assumption that the coexistence of zero and pi states is the most possible mechanism. Yeah. Okay, let me do a summary. We observe high in half integer Shapiro steps in strong ferromagnetic Kajosovsen junction, and this is very robust in a wide temperature range. From four Kelvin to seven Kelvin, and the coexistence of zero and the pi space 
is the most possible origin from our best from our best understanding, and this is uh, sponsored by the high resolution TM experiment. Okay, that's all. Thanks for your listening.